What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another couch video. <laughs> F-Boy Island continuously shows that it's more than about looks. Yeah, y'all know, hey, I ain't say anything. You know, every year I talk about that show, F-Boy Island. Now, y'all know the premise, right? You get three young women who, you know, they're going on there, they're looking for love. They got 24 men to choose from, you know, 12 self-proclaimed F-boys and then 12 self-proclaimed nice guys, right? And so, you know, so it's the players versus the good traditional men who want to sell. Here's the thing about it that it always proves my point that it's more than looks. It's more than looks. You can't tell who is who until they reveal themselves. You can't tell who the, a player is, who are nice guys. In fact, there was one guy who was on, this was season three. He was on season two. He was a nice guy on season two. But season three, he came back as an F boy. He came back as an F boy. And some people were like shocked. Even some other players who were familiar with him, they were shocked. Hey, look, at the end of the day, you know, those are just titles anyway. Because let me let me hit y'all with some deeper game. A nice guy for one woman might be an F boy for another woman. That's just how it is. That's that's you know what? That's a whole other conversation. But check it out though. They couldn't tell. They couldn't tell who was who. And you couldn't tell. And the reason why I'm pointing it out is you you still have many guys saying, Oh, it's just looks, it's just looks. But if it's just looks, why you got so many content creators doing handsome man game? Seriously, I got to emphasize that. I shoot, I, I I was doing a lot of handsome man videos. Now, if it was just looks, they would just they would just need to be handsome. Nah, you got to have some game. Now, so if you don't like the term, okay, personality and everything, because it's still going to come down to who a woman click with. In fact, sometimes the looks can even hurt you. The looks can even hurt you. Because even on this last show, like uh, I mentioned, that guy who had been a, a nice guy the season before, F boy this season. Other guys were talking about his body and you know how good he looked and everything. Yeah, she took she took the guy who had some chubbiness to him. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Looks are important because it does get their attention. Because women look at everything. I got. I'm gonna emphasize this. Women look at every single thing. So they ain't looking at looks. Don't act like they don't. Any woman say looks don't matter, um, they lie. Anybody says it don't matter, don't lie. But everything else matters too. So what women do, and I said this a million times, I'll say it a million more times. They look at the entire picture. So the looks might get them over there. Or sometimes if you don't look as good, because I know I mentioned several times a friend of mine, uh, well, acquaintance. You know, she dropped eight babies by a guy she called ugly. I know a few women like that. They don't want the guy to look that good. But that still looks, though. You don't necessarily mean good looks matter, right? But they still looking at other stuff. Here's the point of what the F. Boyer Allen especially shows, that there are just several types. Uh, a, wo a woman, rather, would like several types of men. So, yeah, you still want to fix yourself up. You still want to hit body game. You still want to dress nice. You want to dress complimentary. You still want to let the barber bless you. That's very important. You want to let the barber bless you. All right? You still want to look good, but then you still got to talk to the woman. Because what do I always say women say? He was all right. The women will say he was all right to, until he opened his mouth. See, you got, that's the thing. You got to uh, really think, okay, what else you got? Okay, you got great bait. Okay, you get them over there. Now what? Now what? Indeed, even some people, who, who, some guys who might meet some women online. How many times have you met that woman in person if you ever got that far and it just wasn't there? Oh, hell, that's the same thing with uh, men getting women. It just wasn't there. Ain't no shame in it. It is what it is. But you got to have more. It takes more. And see, that's the problem now. And I've talked about this before, and I'm going to have to really emphasize this. A lot of guys just not talking to the women. You still got to talk to them. You still got to click. You still got to see what's up. You know, she still got to see what's up. Okay, you look good, you know. 
And like I said, to this day, still get complaints. And you know how I feel about complaints. From guys talking about, well, I look good. How come I don't want Well, first of all, you might not look good to her. That's one thing. And my, hold on, I'm going to get into that. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get into that in a second. You know? But one, you might not look good to her, but you might not have uh, that personality that she like. But looking good to her, see, that's another thing, too. A lot of guys think it's some shit's objective. Look, I'm just going to say it. I used to just be nice and say culturally chauvinistic. No, it's just straight up racist. It's straight up racist. Because you notice there's always some white guys always saying that bullshit or some Oreo ass uh, black man. Seriously. When anybody go around the world, it's just different. It's just different. It's just different. So you don't know if you even look good to that particular woman any damn way. But she might, hey, she might like your sense of style. She might like your body. You know? She might like your conversation. You know? Hell, she might like your smells. I remember Issa Rae. Issa Rae said that. She said, shit, if you smell good, that may, that may give you second thoughts about a man's looks. Hey, it could be whatever with that particular woman. Right? That's why I say any man need to really, any man really needs to just fix himself up as best as possible and then see which women are feeling it. I want y'all to think about that. See which women are feeling it. And understand every woman ain't going to feel it. I don't care what you got. I don't care. There's been plenty of guys thinking, well, I got this money, I got this stories, I got these money, you know. Hell, they even got a decent conversation, but that particular woman might not be feeling it, you know? So that's the thing, and, you know, let's bring this back around to F, uh, FYL. Why don't y'all just check it out? Just check it out for research and everything. How the women responded. How the women dealt with a particular guy. Yeah, they had some physical attraction, but then they were looking for other shit. And see, let me, let me break that down, too. Let me break that down, too. Yeah, what a woman looking for depending on where she is in her life. You know? That woman at 20, I guarantee, I guarantee, I'm going to use the word guarantee, a woman who a woman find attractive at 21 ain't going to be the same as 31. And I've said that before. Especially, at, shit, anybody, at, other people have talked about that shit. Other people have talked to other comment creators. and But I've talked about it especially. If that woman is 20, when she's 21, she just want to party and everything, you pretty much, especially if you are going to clubs or maybe on a college campus or something, you just need to look good for her. Okay, that works then. But what happens when that woman's 31? And I know a lot of dudes be talking about some wall and shit, but um, look, first of all, you're going to be over the age of 30 way longer than you are under the age of 30. It's just that simple. So that's why I don't get into that wall thing. But whatever the case, the woman at 31, she looking at shit. She looking at men totally different. She got that biological clock ticking. She started, she ain't looking for the party man like she used to. You know? Typically not typically. Typically not. And even then, even then, she looking for a different type of party man. Like at 21, she might look for that party man. He don't got shit to his name, but he got a nice body. He look good. 31, she might be like, well, hold up. He need to at least have a decent job, something. She ain't looking for his money, but she just ain't looking to carry somebody. And then some money. You got to look at all of that shit, right? But here's the bottom line. F. Boy Allen illustrates this perfectly. You need more than looks. Yeah, you got them. Hey, that's great. And you're going to get... Because you're going to get a certain amount of women who happens to like your look. Let me emphasize that because some other woman might not like it. And even then, depending on the woman, you might look too good for it. Some women don't want a guy who look, or well, most women don't want a guy who look better than they do. So it depends. But then, let's just let's just focus just on the looks part. Okay, you look good. Can you talk to her? Do y'all click? Y'all go out? Do y'all hang out? Does she feel a spark? And anything can spark a woman. So this is very important. This is very important. Like I said, you don't have to take my word for it. Just check out the show. It's right there. It's right there. In fact, I say that for all the things I talk about. I say, go out and check it out for yourself. Go out and check it out for yourself. You know? Because uh, otherwise... Mm. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that. 
yeah, you want to fix your looks up, it's good, but you still got to talk to the woman. You still got to click with her personality, you know? And shit, don't even let get me into social class. Don't even get me into religion. There's so many factors. There's so many factors. You got to find who fit with you, who's your tribe and everything. Like uh, when I got uh, started doing videos again, I mentioned uh, Miss Mocha Angel and a, a few other female friends who were very supportive. I was like, damn, all of them fit in like, all of them almost fit into the same type of group. All of them do, really. Same general type of personality, body builds, everything. It's like, ah, just me, you know? But then another group of women, they probably, oh. So, you don't worry about it. You know, that's just it. You figure out what your best is, your best, all right? You know, don't be going, don't be caught up into thinking, oh, they have to like you or something. They might not think you're handsome, or they might think you're handsome and still not want you, or think you got everything, but personalities just don't click, all of that, all right? And that boy Allen just shows it, it illustrates it. So check it out, check it out. Yeah, they probably want, y'all probably like, why are you promoting that show? Because it proves my points. It proves my points. So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and